Hi everyone, this is Happy Rich Mama. I went out to the garden and randomly picked out some uh, leaves. I am reusing my Valentine flowers, the Statis, the Sunflower, and the Song of India. This is the Kensen or the spiky frog that holds the flowers. I am now contemplating on using the Papua. It's a long stem with a bunch of leaves at the top as my shin or the highest element of the composition. Hmm, but I have this big Arenga Hukriana leaf that I really love. Should I use this? The Papua, which had a very nice character on the stem, called me, and so I'm using that. My sunflower, although it has already lost some of the petals because it fell, is still a beauty to use. Euphorbia tyrucali or pencil cactus is the one I am putting on now on the arrangement. I had to trim it a lot. Now I am using my variegated chiflera, though it's there's not much variegation in the leaves, but it's very lush, so there's a lot of trimming that has to be done. Now full of blooms, my homes killed ya. Sanguinea or Chinaman's cap or cup and saucer or parasol plant. It's just so lovely to use. Jiyuke is freestyle, but although it is freestyle, there are principles that um, an Ikinobo artist like myself should adhere to. You may begin with an idea and then you start looking for the materials for that idea or you may start working with a bunch of different kinds of plants and flowers and from there on create an expression that will be given by the combination of those flowers and plants. I just inserted a thin stem into a bigger one, about an inch long, so that it is easier to insert it in the kenzan. During the process of creating your expression, you may move around the plants in different places until you feel you are comfortable and that you are able to convey your emotion through the combination or the arrangement of the flowers and leaves. There are different ways and means of structuring your composition it can you can lay down the plants horizontally or vertically upright straight or they can be in in specific angles as you choose a flower or a leaf to put in there is a certain feeling or expression or drama that you want to create and that's how you are able to put it in one way or another. It's always um, important to put some kind of a hierarchy like put numbers on your uh, the different elements in the composition 
like there should be something that is really high that's the first element then it can be a little bit lower than that that will be the second element and then the lowest will be the third element uh, something like heaven man and earth It is really very important to know when to stop because although you have many materials on hand you do not really need to have a collection of your favorite materials as an arrangement a jiyuka is a representation of an expression so learn how to modify trim remove some if there are excesses My gift for you for watching till the end is the joy that's bursting from the sunflower. It's a happy flower. It symbolizes adoration, longevity, and loyalty. <laughs>